Hello, it's Sophie from the National Space Academy here. Now I'm up here in my teaching lab to take a look at some of the artefacts that we use in our teaching that can really show the impact and damage that even very small pieces of space debris can cause to objects in orbit. The first thing we're going to look at is this panel here. Now this panel is from a mission called LDEF, or the Long Duration Exposure Facility. NASA's Long Duration Exposure Facility was launched into orbit in 1984. About the same size as an American school bus, it carried many experiments and tested the performance of spacecraft materials and systems exposed to micrometeoroids, space debris and solar radiation. The original plan was to retrieve LDEF and bring it back to Earth for study in 1985, but a series of complications, including the Challenger shuttle disaster and subsequent grounding of the shuttle fleet, meant that it was finally brought back to Earth in 1990, after spending nearly six years being battered by the space environment. And we are lucky enough to have one of these panels. So if we take a look at this panel then, remember that this was up in space for around six years. We can see that it's peppered with these little burn marks, and in a second when I turn the lights off, you'll be able to see that these are not just burn marks, but they're actually puncture marks, or almost like tiny bullet holes that have gone all the way through the metal. So remember that these holes, these impact craters, were produced by tiny bits of material about the size of a grain of sand or so. The reason that really small pieces of space debris from things like flicks of paint off of rockets to small bits of frozen fuel left over from missions. The reason that is so damaging is because of the sheer speed that these objects are travelling at in orbit. If you take something the size and the mass of a piece of sand and it's travelling at tens of thousands of miles an hour without an atmosphere to slow it down, then by the time it hits something like this metal, it's got the same kinetic or movement energy as a shotgun bullet. And it's not just the external metal of our spacecraft that we have to be worried about. Most spacecraft in orbit will be powered using solar panels. And I've got here a piece of solar panel that was brought back from the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, having spent many years in space, these panels have taken a little bit of a battering. Here you can see a fairly sizeable impact crater from a bit of space debris or a micrometeorite. And when we zoom in closer using something called an electron scanning microscope, we can actually see that the surface of these panels is peppered with tiny impact craters. And each one of these is going to be reducing the ability of the panel to produce energy from the sun. So there you have it. Tiny bits of space junk can cause huge problems for satellites in orbit, whether it's to the outside material of the satellite or to its ability to generate power. Now, if we want our satellites to be able to last as long as possible, we're going to have to figure out this space junk problem. And I'd be really interested to know what your ideas were of how we could deal with space junk. Thank you for listening, and I hope to be able to welcome some people back to my lab soon. Stay safe.